Up until now, the only Brevard County employees allowed to carry guns while doing their jobs were law enforcement and security. Say aye. 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 But with a vote today, all 2,200 county employees will have that right too. I have faith in our county employees to act responsibly. Commissioner John Tobia introduced this idea and it would mean firefighters, parks and recreation employees, any county employee would be able to carry a gun during their workday if they have a concealed carry permit. Tobia says his main reason for pushing the change is because of the Second Amendment, but he also says it's about safety. Oh, it's obviously good to have a good guy with a gun when there's a bad guy with a gun, but uh, you know, hopefully we never come to that uh, standpoint, but it, should we, I, I, want, I want to make sure our, our employees have the ability to protect themselves. There there are some restrictions. Employees can't carry guns into the courthouse or the jail or into county commission meetings. They must keep control of the gun on their person at all times, keep it concealed, and not leave it in an unattended county vehicle. Employees would not be required to carry, and Tobias tells me there's no way to know how many would take up arms. And that's protected under state statute, yeah. so I can't tell you how many of those 2,200 actually have that ability. I'm telling you I'm one of those 2,200, mm -hmm. so I would then have the ability to carry. We also asked if this could cost the county more for insurance, but Tobias says that he checked with the county's insurance company and they say they would not have to pay any extra for this policy. Reporting in Vieira, Bob Hazen, West 2 News. The change does not apply to school district employees or people who work for the other Brevard County Constitutional Offices.